Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Chats in the Woods, or Chats, Nature Chats, that's what I've called it. <laughs> um, if you're new here, this is just me with my thoughts while going on walks in the woods near me. Um, it's the only chance I get as I have a child <laughs> to do like these kind of vlogs, so yeah. And I do get very deep and personal, so if you like that, please subscribe and like the video. <laughs> um, but yeah, as always, I'll get straight into it. So the last video I sort of left you on like, I think it was quite a, probably the most negative video I had actually, when I look back, because I was thinking, oh, should I have put that out? Um, but I have to be real with you. Every week you're gonna feel positive, even if you're going through something bad, if that makes sense. Like you are gonna get weeks where you just feel awful. And one thing I've really realized is when I'm coming on my period, TMI, my senses like everything is magnified by 10 and i just came on like last week uh, everything that happened did happen obviously but i feel like it's so much worse i mean it is quite bad but i feel like it's so much worse when i'm having a period or exciting i'm so scatty in that sense i don't ever write it down when my periods are coming either so i never know it's always a surprise <laughs> maybe i need to do that <laughs> so i'm just saying so i can just sort of talk myself through the period saying right grace you are about to have your period this is bad but it's worse right now because of this you know like just after you have a breakup you know it's gonna be really bad for the next few months but you're gonna get out of it you know what i mean it's a bit like that oddly like my energy has changed i said to you all it's really helpful me doing these videos and i say the reason why is the last video i sort of kicked myself up the bum to be like no grace you are strong you can deal with this sometimes you need to have pep talks with yourself and I watched another video of mine that I did and I was like sort of taking in what I already said. <laughs> My motivational videos motivate me too. <laughs> I need reminding as well sometimes. But literally my energy has shifted and oddly things have changed. This brings me to a subject which my mum used to say but I didn't quite understand because I was so young. But like if my mum and dad ever had an argument, she was very um, strong my mum. She like... <laughs> yeah she was never a victim like she was always sticking up for herself took no crap so yeah one of the things she used to repeat often was you teach people how to treat you and i never quite understood it i was very young um and as i got older i sort of thought was that true like you can't be in control of other people and it's not your fault like it isn't your fault that isn't what she meant and only now as i get older i sort of understand that fully I think I understood it to a degree, like no, don't take any crap sort of thing, um, which is true. But also your energy, like I would say I haven't done anything the last week and a half since filming that video. I haven't done anything, I haven't changed doing anything or saying anything. Um, but after doing that video, as I say, these videos really help. Um, after doing that video, I just thought to myself, you need to stop allowing this to consume you so much. Like you really do. Like last year was like one of my worst years of my life. I, I said that in another video. I'm not allowing that to happen again. <laughs> and by me allowing, obviously when people do things here, you can't control your emotions too much. Like you can to a degree. And you shouldn't have to either. However, it's the way you look at it. Like with anything in life, the way you look at things, make you feel a certain way and I just needed to change the way I was looking at things and that sort of changes everything you know like a dynamic in a room if there's just one extra person or if there's like a certain attitude you may go in with for instance that can change the whole dynamic without even speaking or setting boundaries or speaking boundaries like that can change everything a lot of these things that I do I know already having a baby sort of changes things because your mind is focused on your child rather than yourself like I think when you're single you're very like rightly so as well you're very selfish because you just think about you so it's much easier to manage situations I think when you are a mother like you'll put your child before you well I do anyway <laughs> you become more selfless which then sort of again puts you in a vulnerable position just gives you that balance of like not tolerating things but also looking after your little one and sort of like dealing with life basically everyone deals with life i'm not unique <laughs> everyone watching this is going through something like that is part of life 
I literally underestimated how cold it was today. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing. We're going to Thaddeus dance class. Yeah, from that small shift in the way I'm thinking, I literally feel different and feel different with that person. I need to protect my energy, basically. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, if you protect your energy, then you cannot be influenced or you can't change because your energy is protected. When it's dangerous is when you allow them to take your energy, your good energy, and you consume their bad energy. And then, obviously, naturally, then you change and you become something you're not. So, this is what I'm combating. This is in real life time, people. <laughs> Usually I talk about things like after they've happened. This is the first time I'm talking about things as they happen and they haven't even happened yet either. So I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> if, if we can master controlling our energy, I, I think that is key, isn't it? With everything, like even manifesting what you want in life. I think with that, I sort of mastered that. Um, when it comes to the mind frame and the energy you give out to get things you want in life like I'm pretty good at that but I don't know what it is when it comes to like people I'm aware that I'm not as good at that it's always good to be like honest with yourself and be like aware of what you're not so good at and then you can work on it because if I was to lie to myself and be like no I'm really good at like controlling my energy and putting my energy into the right places with all aspects of my life and then it's and then this aspect of my life wasn't great like that would be detrimental to myself because me and men have never been amazing <laughs> I'm not gonna lie when it comes to my life so obviously it's something that I mean something in my energy regarding that isn't completely correct um, I might even do Reiki or something I don't know I said this a few years ago didn't I I should have done it <laughs> I don't know whether that's psychological though or if that's real. If anyone's done Reiki before, please let me know your insight into it and if it would work for you, if you do it. Because um, I, I, I don't know. I wonder if these things are a placebo or they're real. Like, either way, they work, you know what I mean? Because your energy would have shifted because it believes that now you're cured and now all these things that you had issues with are okay <laughs> you know what i mean and your mind i've said this before your mind is so powerful never forget it what you think about you bring about i need to get a plaque on my wall <laughs> i think to say your mind is your future like whatever you're thinking that is your future self so whatever you have right now in your life you've made that happen i'm gonna do a compilation of videos where I have actually said in previous vlogs, this was years ago, I'm preparing to be a single mother. <laughs> I actually have said that, like outwardly, a video, everything. Yeah. And also I've practiced it because I was basically setting myself up in case that ever happened. I was almost making affirmations of my future life <laughs> and setting myself up for my future life. And now look, you know what I mean? All of this stuff is powerful stuff. It's like if you want to become rich, you need to think you're rich, you need to believe you're rich, you need to do all the things you would be doing to make yourself rich. Whatever it is that you want, it's exactly the same in life. And I think a lot of us are guilty of it. Yeah, what I'm basically saying is that our actions, our affirmations, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, our habits are what create our reality, our future reality. So if you know them things, it's about implementing them things into your life, basically. I have to now look and be honest completely with myself about all the things I'm doing. Like right now, I feel like I'm so consumed with the housework and I've had a flood in my kitchen, so I've been consumed with that um, and sort of other bits and pieces. I'm trying to sort of put it in a box and not allow it to consume me in the evenings. In the day, I'm very in the moment with my daughter. But in the evenings, all I'm thinking about is the house. And that's such a material thing and I really want to get out of that rut so I need to like sort of I don't know schedule time to think about it <laughs> I mean all the things I'm doing in the house are to create systems where I'm not spending all my time clearing up or tidying because I won't have much stuff to tidy <laughs> and everything's gonna be in its place and labeled so that's that's why I'm sort of trying to focus on it so then once that's done it's done I feel like once that is done I now then need to focus on me in the evenings 
about what I want from life, what do I see my future as, and then work towards it. And I think I done a video, a very short video, on my shorts actually, some time back, and it was think about someone that you want to be, or think about what you want to do in life, and then write down all of the things that person does in order to make that happen. Yeah? Now go and do it. And that is so true. That's what I'm gonna do, literally. I say I'll give it a month, this house stuff. It should be sort of settled in a month's time. But that is what I'm gonna do. So if anyone's wondering like what I do, this is what I do. When I was getting my good paid job or like starting a business, whatever it is, you need to think about what that person does on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe start with a day-to-day -day basis, then an hourly basis, how many hours did that person work? what do they do during their day and you can research this if you don't know and then go and do it like literally and I know a lot of people work all day but do it in the evenings I'm literally doing it in the evenings as well <laughs> because I have a baby to look after all day um, so yeah that is what that's what I intend to do and I think obviously when you've got a purpose and you know you're sort of going towards the goal of what you want to do rather than just floating along with life and not being quite sure about what you want to do or how you want to live your life that gives you so much security and also confidence in going forward I think at the moment I'm not quite sure what I want I know what I know is I love my baby and I just want to make her happy and have a great life but it's not very specific because I've got my house now. That was my next aim, obviously. I've got it now, <laughs> and I'm renovating it now. I've got everything I wanted, and it's almost like, what's next? And it's really sad as well that I'm never satisfied. I know I'm gonna be one of them people that I'm just never satisfied. I've never been satisfied. I mean, it's a gift and a curse because it just pushes you to constantly want more. Um, if you're like that, <laughs> shout out to us. <laughs> but when I'm with my baby, I'm content. As I say, it's just the evenings where I'm like, what can I be doing to make my life better? <laughs> and if I'm not doing what I should be doing, I'm like, I need to be doing something. <laughs> That's what my mind is like. Even when I'm watching something, I don't just sit and watch anything. I'm always doing something else or eating <laughs> something. I don't just, I don't know, is anyone else like that? I just can't do one thing. If I'm working on myself, then that's the only time that I sort of can just literally do that. You know what I mean? And not have to do anything, any other activity. But I'm near my house now. The horses are out, but they're quite far away. I want to go back home. It's very sunny now, which is nice. We're going to have a nice Saturday. Hello. Oh, you're saying hello. I want to love you and leave you now. I really hope you enjoyed this video and got something from it. I'm sorry if I was huffing and puffing because I'm pushing this pram and sort of like it's quite bumpy. I should really start leaving you with like quotes, but my quote is you teach people how to treat you that's what my mum used to tell me try and take from that what you can but yeah i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one